Dorian Penaglue here from DorianPenaglue.com and today I'm going to explain to you how shutter speed works. First thing you need to know about shutter speed, it affects the amount of light that the shutter is open in order to bring the light into the sensor from the curtain and then expose your photo. The most important thing to remember about shutter speed is that the slower you go, the more blur you're going to put into the photo. So let's say you take a picture at a 30th of a second and their subject is moving pretty quickly. That subject's going to have a motion blur to it. The exposure is going to be correct if, it, if the meter is showing that it's in the middle. But the, the subject itself is going to have some blur to it. And again, if you're taking a photo of someone like, let's just say for example someone's running and you're taking a photo of them at about four hundredths of a second you will not see any motion blur in that photo unless you're moving pretty quickly but even then the photo will still be pretty sharp all around there won't be any motion blur involved in that photo a lot of cameras only go up to a thirty second exposure and then you'll have to get something like a remote trigger or an intervalometer you have to get something like that additionally but most cameras will only go to a thirtieth of a second here on the 5D Mark III I believe I can get up to an eight thousandths of a second of shutter speed. So some cameras will only allow you one, th one four thousandths of a second and other cameras will allow a little bit higher than that. But essentially when thinking of shutter speed, think of it as exposure. The exposure of the image and then think of it as do you want blur in your image? Do you want it to be sharp? Do you, because some people they want a desired effect of blur in their photo. If that's what you're looking for, then yeah, you're gonna to want to show the slow the shutter speed down a little bit. But if you're looking to capture things such as sports or a moving subject, usually around one two fifty. Usually about one two fiftieth of a second is gonna be where you're gonna to want to be at in order to have the image be sharp. If your shutter speed cannot go high enough to where you can stop the motion, you're gonna to have to either drop down the f-stop to like a 2.8 or a 3.5 or a 4, you're going to have to lower the f-stop number in order to bring up the shutter speed number and then if that still doesn't help, even if you're at your lowest aperture, then you're going to have to look into hiring the ISO. I hope you guys have a little bit better understanding of shutter speed and just remember shutter speed is the, the amount of time the shutter is open to let light into the sensor. This is Dorian Penaglue from DorianPenaglue.com. See ya!